Hi everyone. Just when I think I don't have to make a video for a while, Etsy does something like this share and save program. And now I have to make a video because why not? Okay. So first of all, this is my breakfast. It's a chocolate chip cookie. I still have my tea, so I'm not caffeinated. This might be an interesting video, but I'm going to go in and we're actually going to look at the program and it's not a big deal. You guys, I've seen people say, I don't trust this. What are they doing? It's not a big deal. This is a rebate program. It is not an affiliate program. All right. They, they kind of have it tracked like an affiliate program for the listing links. This is not an affiliate program. I actually went and looked at the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission guidelines about this. And if you're referring people to your own listings, you don't have to put disclosures because the relationship between you and the listings is known by the customer. It's understood. So that was the one thing I was thinking might be a problem because you might have to put hashtag ad on everything, but you really don't. It's, you know, I'll look at that in a minute, but let's go and into the actual program and I'll show you how it works. It's, it's not a big deal if you drive traffic to your own Etsy shop already. If you don't, you probably don't need to sign up for this because you really do want to get traffic to your website if you have a website and that's where you should be sending traffic. But let's go in and look and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the page that you're going to see when you go to your marketing tab and share a, and save. And I say share and this sounds like a grocery store, share and save, share. And, I think it's because of stop and shop. Anyway, I it, whatever the name is, share and save. It's in the marketing tab. This is the page that you're going to get to. And you basically, all you have to do to join this is click join now. That's it. This is not an affiliate program where you have to apply. And the Etsy affiliate program, there's one for bloggers, like people who primarily drive traffic to Etsy and other places from their blogs. You don't even need to have an Etsy shop for the affiliate program there. There's also Creator Co., which is for people who basically drive traffic to places through their social media. They don't necessarily have a blog. That's for a lot of Etsy sellers who want to join an, an actual affiliate program. And that's better. The affiliate programs are better than this because the affiliate programs let you send traffic to your shop, which is unusual. Etsy's affiliate program is actually pretty good that way because usually you can't send traffic to your own products and get a payment for it. But on Etsy's affiliate programs, you can. The AWIN and Creator Co affiliate programs you can send traffic to your own shop, but you can also send traffic to other people's shops. So for example, on my artisan shopping directory blog, I send traffic to other people's Etsy shops who are in my eShop program. And if somebody goes to Etsy and purchases anything on Etsy, it doesn't matter what it is, anything that they go to Etsy to buy, I get 4% back for that. And that's a basic, that's a basic affiliate program. So it's the same thing as the creator code program, but that's just for social media. This is not an affiliate program. You don't have to you don't have to apply to join. You have to have an Etsy shop because any Etsy seller can join this. You don't have to apply. You just click join now. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Now, one thing before I click this, I will say that in their terms and conditions, which I'm going to go into because it's this is important. The terms and conditions are important to understand. It says that if you are an affiliate already, you cannot participate in this. Okay, so that's fine. That's no big deal because like I said, the affiliate programs are better and you can still drive traffic to your own shop through the affiliate programs. But I'm just gonna click join now to show you how easy it is. And then I'll opt out at the end. And I'm, you know, what happens is if you do join this and you are in the affiliate program, if you send traffic to those links and you might by accident, see this is, I'm gonna show you this in a minute. You might send traffic to, the, to this share and save links by accident. It, they just won't pay you. That's all. It's, it might show up and then it'll disappear because they pull payments in and out. But this isn't really a payment. It's a credit. Okay. Anyway, let's click join now. Look, I'm in. That's all it took. Okay. So it's very easy to join this. And it says, here's your special, your unique shop link. Okay. Now this is basically just the shoplink.etsy.com, which we've used for years. So if you have this link out in the wild somewhere, like on Pinterest pins or your profile picture somewhere, you send it in emails or it's on your business cards, just leave it and join the program and you can still use it. And these links, they say the links are okay forever. As long as you're in the program, you don't need to go and change the links around. But if that's the link, let's, let's see if we click copy the link. Is there anything? No, there's nothing different. All right. I'm actually going to go over here and paste it in, in here. No, there's nothing that comes up. So there's no special tracking code. There's no special numbers. 
So you can get a link to your homepage, but it's basically the basic link. So, you know, this isn't a real affiliate program. It's just a rebate program. You get a little rebate on your on your transaction fees. And that's the way that it works. You get 4% back on your transaction fee fees if all the conditions are met. All right, so you can go through this page and read all the stuff, blah, blah, blah. They are having some workshops. They're having a workshop on the 21st and you have to post questions in the forums by tomorrow, which is the September 8th, as I'm recording this. Um, there's there's a Q&A. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do, but it basically, if you send traffic to your Etsy shop already, yeah, sign up for this. But like I said, if you have a website and that's where you send your traffic, don't sign up for this just for this program. You can if you want, and then if you end up do if you do send traffic to Etsy somewhere down the road, you can use these links and you'll get maybe four percent back. But it's not guaranteed that you're going to get sales with this. That's that's another thing. So here's some ideas where to share it, and you know, it, it's basically a four percent refund on transaction fees, and that does include the postage. So any transaction fee that you pay, it's going to be four percent back. It doesn't include sales tax because that's not a payment to you. That's different. These are the terms. Okay, buyers have to place the order within 30 days of clicking your link for the order to be share and save eligible. However, your trackable links never expire. Okay, so that means that if I'm on Instagram or whatever and I post the link and then somebody clicks on it and they come back in 30 days and they buy something from my shop, this is only from my shop, then I will get 4% back on the transaction fees for whatever they buy. If they come back 31 days later and buy, I'm out of luck. But if they then click on that link again, at some point a year down the road, I will get the credit for those sales because the links don't expire. So that's okay. Uh, you only get refunded for traffic you drive from off of Etsy. You can't post this in messages to customers. You can't post it in your listings. It's not going to count. And a lot of people, like I said, they'll you'll already have those shop links formatted that way, but it's not going to count to give you traffic or to give you a payment or a refund or whatever you want to call it from Etsy if it's from a link on Etsy. So it has to be from offsite, outside of Etsy, like uh, your website, your your social media, if you put it in emails, if you put it on your business cards, anywhere you put links to drive people to your Etsy shop, outside of Etsy is fine. But there is a little thing about the terms and conditions. So I'll go and, we'll go and look at that. Share and save eligibility per order is determined off a of buyer's last click prior to purchasing, okay? The last click is very common for affiliate programs and they're using that model here. So basically, now it doesn't, doesn't say anything about affiliate programs, but specifically it says offsite ads. Let's say that somebody clicks on my link and then they come to my website or my Etsy shop. They come to my Etsy shop and they buy something. I'll get the credit for that. But if they click on my link and they come to my Etsy shop and they're like, oh, I, I'll get that later. And then later they Google it and they see the Etsy ad for it. And they click on the offsite ad and come to my shop and buy it there. My refund doesn't count because they clicked on an offsite ad link because that was the last click. Okay, so I'm not sure how it works if if you click somebody else's affiliate link. Does that wipe away your click? You know, but usually a last click model is what people use. It's very common for affiliate programs and referral programs. Just whoever has the last click before that person purchases is the one that gets the credit for it. Just understand that and know that not everybody who clicks on your link is going to buy something. So you might go out and, and put out millions of links. And this is what you're doing anyway. I would think if you're promoting your Etsy shop, you're going to be putting lots of links out there and maybe nobody buys anything. And that's normal. That's, that's what happens. But if they do buy something from your shop, not from someone else's shop on Etsy, just your shop, then you'll get that 4%. And it's basically a little credit off of your fees. So, you know. Now, if you want to opt out of this, which I'm going to do at the end of this video, because I don't use these links and I am an AWIN affiliate, so I'm not eligible for this program anyway, you have to go down here and find in the FAQ, how can I opt out? Because I was looking for this earlier. It's like, there's no easy way to opt out of this. Opt out. That's the button right there. And it's on, again, you go to marketing and this will open up with share and save. And then you opt out in the FAQ. There's no button anywhere else to do it. So just be aware that that's where it is in case you do want to opt out. And I will do that before the end of this video. So let's go into the terms of use because there, there were some things in here that you should probably understand. And I have to find out where, where was that? Where was it? 
Oh, it, was, it says right before, it was right before you actually opted in the terms of use there. Okay, so before I do that, let's look at the at the links. Okay, so see, this is the shop link, okay? Share a listing, you click here and it'll take you to the listing manager. So this is where now, and I guess if you go to the listing itself at the top of the page, it says share. This is on desktop. It's gonna be in a different place on the app. But it, you can do this from the app, I believe. So this, this little thing popped up. Choose share to get your share and save link for this listing. So let's click this one. See what's going on here. And right here it says share and save. Okay, so if you click this, here's the link here. You copy this completely. It's now copied. But this is basically, again, it's the shop.etsy.com slash listing slash this and then the listing name. And that all looks normal. And then all of this code at the end has all of the information about tracking where it came from. So you don't want to truncate this. You don't want to chop this down and just do the listing because you know how you can share a listing by just copying up to the listing number. You need to copy all of this because it won't track correctly and give it credit for this share and save program unless you have the whole thing. This, this stuff at the end is the query string and this will if utm is the tracking that's it's a long thing urchin tracking module okay um but it's the campaign is share so that's the share and save and then it has all of this that tells it it tells etsy that this is from you sharing from this and that you get four percent if somebody buys something so make sure that you copy the whole thing don't use this is this is the one thing i hadn't even thought about until now don't use one of those pretty link link shortener things because when you are using any kind of an affiliate or referral link, they don't like it when you do that. So don't do that and just copy the whole thing, paste it wherever you're going to paste it. Usually it'll get shortened by whatever service you're using, but you need to have the whole tracking code there so that Etsy can track it correctly. Now, they also said that you could do sections. So I'm not sure how that works. Let's go to my shop homepage. Um, because it, it said that the the sections are going to have some kind of a tracking. That's the section ID. Okay, I don't know how you do that. So I don't know. I mean, that, that would be handy, but you could just share to your whole shop or the listings at this point. And then when they bring us more information about that, I could do a little extra for this video. Um, again, it's early. I don't have the caffeine in me to have the you know, energy or desire to go in and do this. So let's go back to the share and save page. Okay. And that's what the links look like. So make sure that you're putting the links in correctly, but the link to the shop is really just that standard link, shopname.etsy.com. There's nothing special for that. So I am actually going to opt out because I want to get the link to the terms and use, like the terms of use. And that will be up here at the top, terms and conditions. Let's go over here. You need to read this, okay? Because I know that there are people who were talking about arbitration. Etsy recently opted everyone into arbitration. Instead of being able to sue Etsy, you have to go through arbitration if you continue to use the Etsy platform and you haven't opted out. Why are you not... I mean, I don't understand why you would opt out of arbitration because if, unless you plan on su like suing Etsy and if you have the money to sue Etsy and your lawyers that you hire are going to be better than Etsy's lawyers have at it, but otherwise arbitration is fine, you know, and Etsy has to go along with what they decide to. So I, I wouldn't worry about that, but if you are concerned about arbitration, when you use this, you are opting back into our arbitration. Okay, it says you acknowledge and agree that your participation in the program is subject to these program terms, all of Etsy's house rules, including but not limited to the Etsy's terms of use, including the limitation on warranties, blah, 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 and arbitration, it's right here. Okay, so if you have opted out of arbitration and for some reason you think you're going to sue Etsy in the future, like I said, good luck, but if you use this program, you're opting back into it for at least for this, if not for the whole thing. I don't know how that works. Okay. Um, and honestly, I, I wouldn't yeah, just, just agree to the arbitration. It's, it's a lot easier. All right. 
And let's see. So blah, blah, blah. Just make sure you go through and read all this. Okay, so the Sharon State program offers eligible sellers, which means that if you do something to violate Etsy's terms of use in other ways, they can take you out of the program. It's like saying the star seller program is good unless you're not a star seller or we don't like you anymore and we're going to take you out and punish you. Okay, so they can take you in and out of this program if you do something scammy or whatever. They they reserve the right. That's okay. And, you know, basically it's just... It, it says, okay, the refund, let's say, blah, 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 total from your transaction fees. The qualifying transaction total is the price you display for each listing, plus the amount you charge for shipping and gift wrapping. So basically anything that the customer pays to you is what they'll give you 4% back on. Now the sales tax is not included because the customer doesn't pay that to us. They pay that to Etsy and Etsy sends it in. So that's not really revenue for us, but anything else. So the cost of the item, shipping, gift wrapping, that's all eligible to get 4% of a refund on your transaction fee. This is not an affiliate payment. It goes straight to your transaction fees and shows up as a credit there. So that's what's included in this. Um, let's see, there, there's stuff about currency conversion, blah, blah, blah. Just go through this and read all this. And then there's this little disclaimer about tax laws. You are responsible for any taxes that may be due as a result of the sales you make on Etsy. That's, you know, that's normal. Now, this is interesting because it says there's a unique shop URL, which we looked at. It's the shop name.etsy.com. Unique listings URL, which is in the listings manager. Okay, it says listings manager. And okay, so the unique shop section. Okay, so this says when viewing your shop sections in the Etsy seller app, you'll find a unique link that brings buyers to a shop section. So you have to do this in the app. That makes sense because I couldn't find it on the desktop. And, you know, that is that is handy because let's say that you have things that sell out. You have one of a kind, whatever. You can use the shop section link and send people there instead of to a specific listing. And that will keep that listing from or that you keep that link from expiring, from showing a nothing's here kind of message. So if you want to use this program, get the link for the shop section in the URL in, in for the URL in the app. And that will be a good way to take care of that kind of situation. Um, and what happens is when your shop makes a qualifying transaction that results from you sharing the URLs on authorized channels, as defined below, and we'll go into that in a minute, you may receive, which means that they have to buy something. It's not you will receive, it's you might receive. Okay, You might receive a refund on such qualifying transactions. Authorized channels, this is important, means your owned and operated social media pages, websites, blogs, emails, and such other communications, media, and channels that have been accepted and approved by Etsy for participation in the program. That just means that Etsy can say, no, we're not going to pay you because you're sharing it like in, in too many places that you don't own. You're spamming Facebook groups with your links. And no. So basically, you have to share your URLs and your links on places that you own, like your social media accounts, your Facebook pages. And they do have weird rules about sharing to private groups on Facebook. But, you know, it, if it's if it's a disqualified sale because you're doing that, then they just won't pay you. And if you do it too much and you're spamming groups that you are not the owner of, then they might kick you out of the program. So just be aware of that and don't don't be a spammer. That's that's easy. OK, um, it says transactions concluded via URLs shared or linked anywhere other than on authorized channels will not qualify for a refund under the program. So basically. You know, if, if you're just sharing links where you're not supposed to meaning other people's groups, uh, you know, places that you don't own. You don't own this page. You don't own this group. So if you're on a Reddit forum and you're spamming there, it's probably not going to get paid if Etsy decides that that's not an authorized channel and they reserve the right to do that. So they can do that. And it also says you can't share links on the Etsy platform, including the Etsy app. So if somebody sends you a message about a listing, you can't share them your link thinking that you're going to get an extra 4% off. It has to be off of Etsy, sending traffic to Etsy. All right, so qualifying transactions, they go through this. It's within 30 days. And if an offsite ad click comes along, it takes that away. Okay, transactions concluded via URL shared or linked on the Etsy platform are not authorized. We just talked about that. If you participate in Etsy's affiliate program or creator co, you may not also participate in the Etsy share and save program. I talked about that in the beginning. The affiliate programs are better. 
don't worry about this one. You don't, if you can get into the Etsy Creator Co. program, do that instead. This is just for people who don't, uh, don't uh, you know, qualify for that. And Creator Co., they do look at your social media, but people have said they've gotten into the Creator Co. with very low social media followers. I would try to get into Creator Co. first before you, or maybe do this and then get try to get into Creator Co., because the Creator Co. program is better. This only sends a 4% rebate to your transaction fees for your own shop. Creator Co. and the affiliate program are better because you can send traffic to other people's shops. You can say, hey, look at this cute thing I found on Etsy. It could be something you don't sell, something you just like, and you can put a link and if people go there and buy it, you get the credit. The one thing, and Bill in my group, who's my moderator on YouTube on my other channel, pointed out that Etsy affiliate and Creator Co. have payment threshold minimums. So you have to earn like $20, I think, before they will pay you out. The transaction fee credit for share and save it goes directly to your bill and you don't have to have any minimum. So there's that. If you're not going to get that many sales because you don't post that many links, it might be better just to stick with the share and save. But I honestly, I think it's worth it if you want to try to get into Creator Co. because it just opens it up to entire Etsy. It opens up to all of Etsy and it's it's just a better opportunity to earn more of a rebate. And it is a 4% over there. It varies. Right now they're doing a, a little bonus, but it's usually 4%, I think. Um, okay. And Creator Co. might be different. I know the A1 affiliate program is 4%. Okay, the next thing is you will not receive a refund or credit on any consideration for linking to other seller shops or listings under this program. That's what I was just talking about. So you're not going to get any kind of a credit for linking to other seller shops. You're not going to get a credit for, um, you know, people coming to Etsy through your link and then them buying from someone else. But you would during the affiliate program. But anyway. Okay, you will not receive a refund if you make a purchase from your own shop and then ask for a refund of the purchase. I didn't know that you could buy from your own shop because they'll shut you down. Don't do that. I've heard of people getting their shop shut down, mul like multiple people. This is not just, I've heard my cousin had a friend who, no, I've heard first firsthand multiple people have had their shop shut down if they or someone in their household bought from their shop. Don't do it. So they're not going to give you a refund for that either. Oh, well. Okay, if a buyer is granted a refund of the qualifying transaction, you will not receive a refund on those transactions. So basically, if you refund the purchase, they take the credit back. That, that makes sense. All right. Then here's all the stuff about buying ads. You are not allowed to buy ads for these links. If you do buy ads for these links, I would go and read this really carefully. There's all kinds of stuff about using the Etsy trademarks. You can't use the Etsy trademarks. I know there are people on YouTube who call themselves Etsy this and Etsy that, and that's against Etsy's terms of use. So I wouldn't take their advice. If they are doing something that's against Etsy's terms of use to start with, no, don't do it. Okay, and now this is the thing that I was worried about to begin with, because you are responsible for ensuring that your use of Etsy services and your website and services comply with all applicable laws and regulations. Now, there are disclosure laws for affiliate links and their spam laws, you know, and so this is what they're talking about in here. Read this whole thing. I could not get a straight answer from any of this about whether you need to say that this is an affiliate link when you post it. So I chatted with Etsy support, God help me. And he was very helpful as far as he could be, but he didn't know the answer. So it was the kind of thing where you ask a question, they go back, they say, let me check this out. They come back and give you an answer to something you didn't ask. You clarify the question, they go away again. They come back and say, I need to, I need to support, you know, escalate this to the team. It, it's not that hard a question. Okay, so instead of waiting for them to email me back, I went to the Federal Trade Commission website, like I said, and on the Federal Trade Commission website, it says that if the customer or the, whoever is reading this post understands the relationship between you and the product that you're talking about, you do not need a disclosure. This is in their disclosure guidelines. And I will link that. You know what? I wrote an article about this. I'll link the article and all the links are in there. If it's something that they would not know, like if you say, I just bought this mug full of tea and it's the best mug ever. I love it. But if you're getting paid to promote that, you have to tell people that that's an ad. You have to say this is an affiliate link. You can't just say this is my recommendation. I love it and leave it at that because people need to know that you're being paid to say that. 
But if they understand that it's your product and you recommending it and that you're going to get paid if they buy it, then there's no need for a disclosure because it's a clear relationship. So in this case, in the case of the share and save program, based on federal trade commission guidelines, you don't need to put hashtag ad or say this is an affiliate link because it really isn't. It's just a referral. And there's a direct relationship between you and the product that you're talking about. For the Creator Co. program and for the AWIN affiliate program, that's different. And you do need to have those disclosures because you might be talking about someone else's shop. Again, if you're talking about your own shop, based on the Federal Trade Commission rules, it says you don't need to have those disclosures. But based on that, you have to talk about other people's. You do have to say that it's an affiliate. So I would not worry about the disclosures for this specific program, but if you are posting affiliate links, you need to make that clear wherever you're posting them because it's illegal if you don't. And I'm not saying it's illegal against Etsy's rules. It's like illegal, illegal. Okay. And this is all the other stuff. You have to make sure that everything is right. And then all this stuff is about, you know, they, they can terminate the program at any time. They can kick you out of it at any time. This, this is important. And this is what I was talking about saying, you know, Etsy, Etsy, I'm an Etsy partner. This says, this does not mean that you work for Etsy. If you do this program, it doesn't mean you're an Etsy partner. You can't imply that there is a relationship between you and Etsy that's an that's like an employer, you know, employee relationship, which is dumb. I've seen people do that on their Facebook pages. I'm employed by Etsy. No, you're not. And you're violating Etsy's terms of service because this is in there too. And then they can change the terms at any point. So that's, you know, this is just basic legal stuff. So would I say to participate in this program? Yes, if you don't have a website that you send traffic to, because if you do send all your traffic to your website, don't go and, you know, join this program just to send traffic to Etsy so that you get 4% back, because it's really just a reduced transaction fee. That's all this is. And the other question that people have was, why is Etsy doing this? Well, it it saves them money on advertising because now all of a sudden they've got a little, you know, sales force of millions of people who are like, oh, I'm going to go drop my links everywhere and I get 4% back. You might never get 4% back because the majority of people that come to Etsy from outside links, they might not buy from, at, from you. They might go to someone else's shop and then Etsy doesn't have to pay anything. 4% is a lot lower than it costs for Etsy to get a customer to the platform otherwise. And they're going to save money on advertising this way. So for people to say that's a lot of money for Etsy to spend, no, it really isn't. And they'll probably cut back on their advertising in other ways because now they've got you guys advertising for them. They've got all of us saying, I'm going to drop links to Etsy and send people to Etsy all the, all, you know, all the time. So that's the reason they're doing it. But think about it for yourself. If you send traffic to Etsy already, go ahead and do it because why not, right? It might get you a little rebate on your fees, but if you want traffic to go to other places, then it's not necessarily something you have to do all the time. You could sign up for it because you saw how easy it was to sign up. You click join. And then if you do have a link to send to Etsy, go ahead and use the link. Again, if you're in the affiliate programs already, you're not eligible for this, but the affiliate programs are better. So don't worry about it. Okay, so if you have any questions and if anything changes with this, I'll do an update, but I think that that's, that's pretty much it. This is a very basic program. This is not complicated. It's not a trick. I've seen people say, I don't trust it. Don't worry about that because this is basically just a rebate program. They're not gonna have to pay for every transaction because people aren't gonna buy every single time they come to Etsy. You know, they've, they have this figured out. They've been testing this for a year in beta behind the scenes. I know people who have been in the program. So it's not a big deal. It's just a new thing. Okay. And I know that we, I know we've had experience with Etsy and new things before, but this is not a big deal. So leave me any questions, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later.